Hello everyone. Today we will be unboxing and reviewing this uh, sp uh, Smart Flow Metal 5X. This is a budget uh, tablet device from uh, Spice Mobiles. Uh, this is basically a 5 inch device uh, which comes with here. Uh, as you can see, these are the specifications of the device. We will just have a look on what uh, the specification says the device is powered by 1.3 gigahertz uh, dual core processor it's, it comes with a 5 inch uh, FWVGA capacity touch screen in terms of operating system it is powered by Android Jelly Bean 4.2 the battery capacity is 1800 mAh battery the device is a dual SIM battery uh, both having uh, only 2G support which means that you cannot use a 3G a network on this device if you use a 3G network it won't be available in this device you can only use 2G SIM right in terms of camera 8 mega uh, the device comes with 80 megapixel uh, main rear camera and 1.3 megapixel front camera in terms of storage, the device comes with 4 GB of internal uh, storage or uh, ROM and 512 MB RAM. Right? So let's see what uh, inside the box is. Right? The box looks it's just usual, uh, just like any other device box. Right? let's open it here you can see this is the 5 inch smart flow metal 5x device right uh, well first uh, let's see what's inside the box then we'll uh, try to see what uh, the device actually is right. just the cover right this is the normal micro USB cable, data cable you can call it, which can be used for charging as well as for uh, transferring the data from your system to this uh, tablet, right? Then this one is the adapter, universal adapter, which can be used along with uh, that USB cable to charge the device. In terms of uh, milliampere, the output is uh, it is uh, 600 milliampere. So the device uh, not the one milliampere which usually it is right? in other smartphones. Apart from this, and this is just the user manual. As you can see, the user manual. Then this is your earphone the build quality looks good and uh, considering the fact that this is a budget android uh, device the build quality of the earphones looks good the quality of the wires two seems okay this is it comes with the mic also as you can see apart from that you have a button also right this one is button you can press it to pick up the calls it seems right you can use this uh, button to pick up the calls from the device without uh, using the device itself so that's it this is uh, a normal earbud phones yeah right then Another is the warranty card, this one, this is the list of service centers, apart from that uh, this also comes with a flip cover, flip cover with the device itself, it's in the packet so you can say it comes free with the device, the flip cover seems quite good, the build quality of the flip cover seems good, even though the uh, flip cover and this portion is a plastic, the finish is good and uh, even the front uh, portion seems good enough right which which will be used to protect the screen of the device right 
so that's it these are the things in the box let's have a look on the device itself directly right as you can see this is the plasticky portion of the back of the device even though the device looks just a uh, kind of metal right it seems a bit of plastic also right it's not metal the finish is good at the back this portion which you see just like a metal like uh, it, uh, it is a bit rough it's not totally smooth and fine it's good uh, because uh, it it helps you to hold the device much better compared to the this finish if the whole back portion is as fine as this these portions will uh, will face difficulty in holding the device right this is the spice branding branding right and then uh, we'll take a look uh, this is the 8 megapixel camera as you can see just a moment i'll just try to adjust the focus a bit as you can see this is uh, the 8 megapixel uh, camera this is the led flash which comes with the camera these are the speakers output speakers output apart from that uh, this portion as you can see the key, uh, the frame of the device is a uh, metal one right it is using a metal case to hold the uh, device then this is the power button this one seems we have some issue with the focus right okay. this is the power button of the device even though this is a plastic uh, button but it is finished with a metallic kind of paint right so this is the power button this is a microphone this is just a dent which can be used to take out the back cover apart from that the uh, this is the volume rocker button which can be used to adjust your volume then this is your 3.5 mm audio jack this is your micro usb port right then this is your front uh, vga camera this is your front vga camera this is for your speakers and this is the proximity sen uh, sensors right these are the backlit buttons it, it, it doesn't come with any what you call physical buttons right now let's uh, start the device and see what it is right as you can see this is a custom ui uh, from spice it doesn't uh, looks much similar to the stock ui because you can uh, you cannot uh, get access to all uh, applications by clicking that button of uh, tag button which normally comes with stock ui right as you can see all the applications uh, you can get on the home screen by swiping swiping the screen from here to there the performance of the uh, screen seems good it is quite responsive only issue with this uh, display is that if you change the angle uh, if you change the angle the display will uh, not look good it will uh, look just like white screen or the black screen depending on your the angle uh, of viewing so this is one of the major issues with uh, this particular device Uh, in terms of display apart from uh, that i uh, will talk about other uh, issues as we move on right let's uh, try to see what android was in this is the normal what you call notification center it is a bit uh, what you uh, customize and it's uh, different from the stock ui right you can see two tabs here notification and toggle tab notification tabs where normally all your notifications uh, will appear some of them are already appearing at the moment 
in, in toggles tab you will see uh, different settings of the device these uh, these toggles normally are uh, the most frequent uh, use uh, toggles which you can just cl uh, click by selecting those toggles just right as you can see you can change those settings uh, just by selecting touching that particular tab right it gives you airplane mode battery wi-fi bluetooth gps data connection data uses audio profile brightness timeout auto rotate and alarms right if you want to access all the settings you can do that by clicking this button here and then you can see all the settings of the device right let's uh, check out what the android version uh, this is as you can see this is spice mi504 it is running android 4.2.2 jelly bean right if we and uh, some of the features which come with this device uh, uh, which are normally not present in other uh, android phones this one special one like this smart mo motion right you can flip uh, use uh, flipping to mute the device which means that if a call is coming you can just flip the device like this and uh, the phone will go silent right so if the flip mute uh, option is on you can use that particular feature apart from that uh, this comes with uh, as it comes with uh, dual sim you have a sim management option here as you can see at the top of uh, this device at the moment this is not active because we are not using the sim in this particular phone at the moment uh, unless and until you use uh, two sims in this device this uh, option will keep disabled right will remain disabled apart from that just like uh, many other uh, normal android devices you can uh, create a portable wi-fi hotspot just by clicking this uh, option right and then uh, even you can use the your uh, windows pc internet via the usb cable by just selecting this usb internet option at the moment this option is not uh, on because we have not connected a usb to a running windows uh, uh, pc that's it apart from that let's look at the battery level as you can see we, we have already run this device for two days 12 hours and 47 minutes approximately and still it is 46 percent Keep in mind that we have uh, used this device uh, heavily only for few hours, and uh, but uh, even uh, for that particular uh, few hours, this particular uh, battery performance is very good. Compare uh, if you consider the fact that it is a very uh, uh, low-end device, it is a budget device, so it is. Uh, uh, running quite well compared to what we uh, sp we are spending on this device right so uh, normally we have used this device for uh, almost uh, two weeks uh, and the performance in terms of battery is uh, very good uh, we have uh, means under heavy uses this uh, device battery will last for almost uh, one and a half uh, days uh, with no, uh, normal uh, uses uh, plus moderate use basically you can uh, use the 2G connection for the full day and apart from that you can use uh, everything uh, like your uh, social networks twitter facebook email notifications and everything normally which you use whatsapp uh, messengers battery performance of this device is pretty good uh, one of the reasons being that uh, uh, this is a dual sim device with uh, only 2G network support so perhaps uh, if uh, the device supported a 3G network and uh, then battery may have drained much faster on a 3G network compared to 2G network 
will uh, just open this uh, back cover uh, just to check out what's uh, in the back basically to show you the two same uh, slots which normally comes with this device right here you can see these are the two sim slots sim slot 1 and sim slot 2 these are basically the normal sim slots uh, which means that you do not need to cut your normal sim uh, to use in this device normally tablets uh, these days uh, need uh, micro sim to use those uh, de uh, devices but uh, this spice smart flow metal 5x uh, will work with your normal sims right this is uh, your sd card slot and uh, as you can see this is a bi uh, very big battery which is a rechargeable lithium ion battery and uh, in terms of capacity of this battery it is uh, 1800 uh, mh as uh, you can see in the it is 1800 mh battery right this is your uh, the mesh for speakers this is your 8 megapixel camera this is the area for LED flash right we'll just cover it and let's try to fix the flip cover and see how it looks like right if you uh, look out uh, at the flip cover and the original back cover you'll see a small difference right the original cover uh, almost half of the portion more than half of the portion is almost like a metal uh, it seems a metallic bit a bit metallic right here it is but uh, flip cover as you can see is full plastic so we'll just uh, put that flip cover on and see how it works right as you can see the flip cover fits almost perfectly we'll just uh, As you can see, we have just uh, put the flip cover on the device and it all fit almost perfectly, right? If you see uh, through the edges, uh, the flip cover is almost perfect for this uh, particular phablet, right? We'll just uh, take the flip cover off again and I'll just put the original back cover. This uh, particular, uh, it's a bit difficult uh, in fact to take out uh, the covers. It should be a bit, uh, what you call, easy for any particular device to remove covers if it is removable but uh, here you can see it is a pretty what you call knee jerk type of uh, fitting means sometimes you will uh, get worried while removing the cover that it may break out right ok so we will get back to some more stuff uh, as, uh, let's uh, have a look at the camera as you can see, uh, this uh, the f back co uh, camera is 8 megapixel. As you can see here, 8 megapixel uh, camera. This is the back one, right? 8 megapixel camera. Let's try to uh, take a picture. I'll just. Uh, try to focus it a bit yeah if you see uh, through uh, the image uh, doesn't look good it's not because the camera is good uh, bad here it's because uh, the view angle of uh, the camera has changed means uh, the view angle at which we are recording this video 
had changed and that's why the ram uh, as you can see here is 478 mb out of which uh, 170 mb is available internal storage is showing as 0.98 gb out of which 0.73 gb is available basically this device is of, uh, comes with 4 gb of internal storage perhaps uh, this uh, 0.98 GB shown here is the available space storage out of means uh, which is uh, left after inst installing the Android right Android operating system as you can see the Android version here is Android 4.2.2 the screen density is 240 dpi which is not good but again we talk about cost and then it seems pretty okay at that particular cost right and now as you can see here the led is flashing here right this normally happens when you have a notification pending so if we clear this particular notation let's see if we have so We'll just clear it hopefully there's notification uh, led stops blinking as you can see the led has stopped blinking right now let's uh, move on to battery as you can see uh, the cpu that shows the battery is a lithium ion battery right it doesn't show the capacity but we know that it is 1800 m uh, mh battery right in terms of sen sensors this only comes with uh, proximity sensors so right now let's uh, look at the Antutu benchmark which already we ran let's see how it performs on the Antutu benchmarks as you can see uh, it uh, comes out with a score of 10,874 which is good right if you go and um, this is general level but you are doing um, this is the uh, if you go to details right as you can see uh, the remark here CPS poor cannot run large apps smoothly right which means that the, uh, if you want to run large applications or uh, graphics or large games will face difficulty running on this device ram in general is pretty okay it's just almost 500 mb of ram right even though in terms of support it will support uh, support most of the games but uh, you'll face difficulty if you are running uh, the games which are pretty big or which need uh, more graphics right as you can see these are the scores of the device uh, the thing which we'll need to see here uh, which is this is the screen resolution 480 by 854 right let's get back and see if we can compare right we'll see a bar chart right as you can see this is uh, the ranking in terms of bar chart how it performs in the benchmark score as you can see this is almost at the bottom of uh, this bar chart which is uh, and just above samsung galaxy s2 and much below google nexus 4 right as you can see the score of google nexus 4 is almost twice the uh, score of uh, this device but compare uh, com uh, considering the fact that uh, this device just cost almost one third of google nexus 4 this score of 10874 appears pretty good right we'll just uh, have a look on this uh, device info once again uh, from the untrue to benchmarks which will confirm some of our uh, already known feet uh, specs right as you can see it comes with a media tech mt6572 with a gpu render of mali 400 mp the resolution is 480 by 854 as we already told you rear camera is 8 megapixel right then uh, now uh, 
one of the issues which we saw right the antutu to benchmarks tells you that uh, the rear and the front camera is just 0.3 megapixel where whereas uh, the specification tells you that uh, the front camera is 1.3 megapixel we are not sure why this uh, discrepancy is happening in this uh, benchmark score but uh, we do assume that uh, what the specification uh, from the manufacturer says that is true that is the device comes with 1.3 megapixel uh, front camera but from that uh, we have android 4.2.2 right as you can see at the moment we are accessing network using wi-fi right on uh, in terms of sensors you can see only proximity sensor is supported right and uh, every other sensor uh, which you can see in this list are not supported right except that distance sensor so we'll just uh, do a what you call i'll try to so that's it uh, perhaps we did everything uh, and did we miss anything right uh let's uh, have a look on some of uh, the pre-installed applications which come with uh, this uh, this comes with spice cloud right which gives you some cloud storage right it also comes with nq mobile security 6.0 pro which uh, is just uh, another antivirus right you can just this is a six months free VIP service or uh, you can call premium service of NQ mobile security which comes with the, this device right we'll just uh, check out it comes with some of the pre-installed games like Assassin's Creed and uh, Nova 3 but these are the, uh, just uh, demo games and uh, which you can play only for two minutes or 120 seconds after that uh, the game exits on its own right Apart from that, uh, you have sound recorder and then uh, superpower save, uh, right? Basically, it changes your display to another almost like bare bone display. You need to exit uh, this uh, mode by just clicking on this, right? It comes with uh, WhatsApp uh, download shortcut. I think uh, let's try to run a YouTube video and see how it performs. Let's see, we'll run a trailer, see how it performs. This is an advertisement. Let's see, skip that. As you can see, the display is good uh, unless uh, uh, till your view ang viewing angle is right. If you change your view angle, uh, the display gets bad. Right. So that's it. Uh, we'll uh, also. We'll look out for uh, the volume of uh, this uh, speakers, right? We'll talk about volume of the speakers. The volume of the speakers is not pretty loud. Means if you want to uh, use uh, this device as a whole soul uh, music listening device without any additional speakers or without using a earphone, uh, it's not a good choice but uh, normally the sound is normal if you are just using it on your uh, working table otherwise you need your earphones to use uh, this device as a music player right it comes with a music player inbuilt uh, which is a customized version uh, which almost looks like uh, copied clone of uh, what you call 
Apple iOS iPhone interface. One of the issues with uh, these customized interfaces is that it's sometimes it's get difficult to find uh, your application unless until you show where it is. It also comes with uh, support for FM radio, Hangama app, then I need to find where the music app is. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the dialer, how it uh, looks like. As you can see, the dialer looks like this, just uh, a bit of uh, tweaked version of the uh, stock uh, Android Jelly Bean, right? This is your dialer, you can wait. At the moment, we don't have the same in this device, so it will give you a right, but you can then... Uh, this is the dialer it comes with opera mini which is the browser by default for this device we are missing something it seems gallery this is the weather app So that's it, uh, the only uh, issue which we found with this particular device is first the lack of 3G support if you are spending say 6 to 7 thousand uh, rupees and still you are not getting uh, 3G uh, means it may be issue for some of uh, the end users but considering the fact that in India most uh, low end users do not uh, use uh, 3G which is still quite expensive you can say that this is a good device another is the view angle of viewing angle of this screen unless or until you are using at a good view angle this display doesn't look good so if you are using at an angle which is not perfect you cannot use the display of this device right Apart from that, this device looks pretty good. The build is good, battery life is good, the price is compare, uh, means price is pretty okay at uh, means even though the MRP of this device is around eight thousand four hundred forty ninety nine rupees, it uh, you can get this device at a MOP of market operating price of around rupees six thousand five hundred, right? So, if you want a device in this particular uh, budget, maybe you can consider this de uh, device as a pretty good option. Thank you for watching uh, this review. Hopefully, you have like uh, you like this video review. Do share your feedback in the comment section below, and we will love to uh, hear from you. We'll try to answer your queries if you have any. Thank you for watching. Thank you.